Salma Hayek. Actress and film producer. Salma Belgarma Hayek Pano is an actress and film producer. She began her career in Mexico with starring roles in the telenovela Teresa as well as the romantic drama Midak Ali. She soon established herself in Hollywood with appearances in films such as Desperado, From Dusk Till Dawn, Wild Wild West, and Dogma. Born, September 2, 1966, age 58 years, Coatzacoalcos, Mexico. Spouse, François-Marie Pino, M. 2009. Children, Valentina Paloma Pino. Height, 1.57 meters. Parents, Sammy Hayek Dominguez, Diana Jimenez Medina. Siblings, Sammy Hayek. Salma Hayek was born on September 2, 1966, in Coatzacoalcos, Mexico. Her father is of Lebanese descent and her mother is of Mexican-slash-Spanish ancestry. After having seen Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, 1971, in a local movie theater, she decided she wanted to become an actress. At age 12, she was sent to the Academy of the Sacred Heart in New Orleans, Louisiana. After attending Mexico City's prestigious university Universidad Iberoamericana, she felt ready to pursue acting seriously. She soon landed the title role in Teresa, 1989, a hugely successful soap opera, which earned her the star status in her native Mexico. However, anxious to make films and to explore her talent as well as passion, she left both Teresa, 1989, and Mexico in 1991. Heartbroken fans spread rumors that she was having a secret affair with Mexico's president and left to escape his wife's wrath. She made her way to Los Angeles. She approached Hollywood with naive enthusiasm and quickly learned that Latina actresses were typecast as the mistress maid or local prostitute. By late 1992, she had landed only small roles. She appeared on Street Justice, 1991, The Sinbad Show, 1993, Nurses, 1991, and as a sexy maid on Dream On, 1990. She also had only one line in My Crazy Life, 1993. Feeling underappreciated by Anglo filmmakers, she vented her frustrations on Paul Rodriguez's late-night Spanish-language talk show. Robert Rodriguez and his wife Elizabeth Avellan happened to be watching and were immediately smitten with her. He soon gave her big break to star opposite Antonio Banderas in the cult classic Desperado, 1995, bringing her into Hollywood prominence. The moviegoers were as dazzled with her as he had been. Afterwards, she was cast again by Rodriguez to star in the cult classic From Dusk Till Dawn, 1996. Her first star billing came later that year, with Fool's Rush in, 1997, opposite Matthew Perry. It was a modest hit and her star continued to rise in both commercial and films such as Breaking Up, 1997, with an unknown Russell Crowe, 54, 1998, Dogma, 1999, and in the time of the butterflies, 2001, the small artistic film which won her an Alma Award as Best Actress and the summer blockbuster Wild Wild West, 1999. Her production company Ventanarosa produced the Mexican feature film No One Writes to the Colonel, 1999, which was shown at the Cannes Film Festival and selected as Mexico's official Oscar entry for Best Foreign Film. The new millennium started out quietly as she prepared to produce and star in her dream role of Frida Kahlo the legendary Mexican painter whom she had been admiring her entire life and whose story she wanted to bring to the big screen ever since she arrived in Hollywood. Frida, 2002, was full of passion and enthusiasm, with performances from her and Alfred Molina as Kahlo's cheating husband Diego Rivera. It also featured an entourage of stars such as Antonio Banderas, Ashley Judd, Jeffrey Rush, Edward Norton and Valeria Galeno. It was a box office hit and was nominated for six Academy Awards, including Best Actress for Hayek. It won awards for makeup and score by Elliot Goldenthal. Later that year, she expanded her horizons, directing The Maldonado Miracle, 2003, which was shown at the Sundance Film Festival. In 2003, she starred in the finale of Rodriguez's Desperado trilogy Once Upon a Time in Mexico, 2003, again opposite Banderas. She also starred in After the Sunset, 2004, opposite Pierce Brosnan, 
and Ask the Dust, 2006, opposite Colin Farrell. She then starred in Banditas, 2006, which also featured Penelope Cruz, and Lonely Hearts, 2006, opposite Jared Leto. Family Spouse Francois-Marie Pinot, February 14, 2009, present, one child. Children Valentina Paloma Pinot Parents Diana Jimenez, Medina Sammy Hayek Dominguez Relatives Sammy Hayek, sibling. Trademark. Often play strong-willed, independent women. Curvaceous, buxom figure. Seductive deep voice. Trivia. Is dyslexic and has combined type ADHD. Salma's paternal grandparents, Elias Hayek Labahai and Adela Dominguez, were both of Lebanese descent. Adela's family's surname was originally, Hid. Salma's mother's family is of Mexican-slash-Spanish descent. She was sent to a boarding school in Grand Coteau, Louisiana at age 12, but was soon sent back home after getting into trouble for frequently terrorizing the nuns. Frequently collaborates with Antonio Banderas and Robert Rodriguez, and is godmother to Rodriguez's children. Salma is an Arabic name that means peace or calm. She and François Henri Pinot renewed their vows at Venice's Teatro La Fenice Opera House in late April 2009, with 150 guests present. Among them were Penelope Cruz, Javier Bardem, Charlize Theron, Stuart Townsend, Woody Harrelson, Hayek's ex-boyfriend Edward Norton, French President Jacques Chirac, Lucy Liu, Ashley Judd, Antonio Banderas, Anna Wintour, Gail Garcia Bernal, Diego Luna, Bono, and Stella McCartney. She played a mythological creature disguised as a stripper twice, in From Dusk Till Dawn, 1996, and in Dogma, 1999, a vampire and a muse respectively. As the announcer for the 2007 Academy Awards, she was able to announce her best friend Penelope Cruz nominations for Best Actress for Volver, 2006. She was considered for the role of Alicia Lard in A Beautiful Mind, 2001. In real life, Alicia was from El Salvador. The character in the film was later changed to American-born, and given to Jennifer Connelly. Founded her own production company, Ventanarosa, 1999. In July 2020, the production company signed a two-year first-look deal, with HBO Max. Is the second Latin American actress to be nominated for the Best Actress in a Leading Role Academy Award, for her performance in Frida, 2002. Brazilian veteran Fernanda Montenegro was the first, for Central Station, 1998, returned to work five months after giving birth to her daughter Valentina in order to begin filming Cirque du Freak, The Vampire's Assistant, 2009. Good friends with Penelope Cruz, Ashley Judd, and Valeria Galino. Studied drama at the Stella Adler Studio of Acting in New York City. Member of the jury at the Cannes Film Festival, in 2005. Donated $25,000 to a shelter in Coatzacoalcos for battered women. Her brother, Sammy, designs custom chairs. His celebrity clients include Jennifer Aniston and her ex-husband, Brad Pitt. Her parents are Sammy Hayek Dominguez, oil company executive, and Diana Jimenez Medina, opera singer. In 2004, Salma won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Directing in a Children Youth Family Special for the Maldonado Miracle, 2003. In 2009, Musician Prince included a song on his CD Lotus Flow 3R slash MPL Sound that is about Salma Hayek. The song shares the same name as her daughter, Valentina. They called off their engagement in July 2008, but then after months of speculation about whether they were still a couple, Salma and Pinel married in a secret ceremony on Valentine's Day 2009 in the City Hall of the Second Arrondissement in Paris. Chosen by People, USA, magazine as one of the 50 most beautiful people in the world in 1996, 2003, and 2008. Born on the same day as Keanu Reeves, they are two years apart. E. Entertainment voted her look at the 1997 Academy Awards, one of the five most memorable in Oscar history. At the event, she wore a beaded Armani gown, complemented by a 1920s diamond tiara. Studied international relations and drama at the Universidad Iberoamericana, 
a prestigious university in Mexico City, Mexico, was named one of the ten most stylish women in the world by Mr. Blackwell, a.k.a. Richard Selzer, in 1997. InStyle named her the most stylish celebrity of 2003 and Ianline.com ranked her as the best-dressed female celebrity. She was awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 6901 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on November 19, 2021. Adam Sandler and director Chloe Zhao were guest speakers at the ceremony. Her Walk of Fame star is located in front of the Chinese Theater box office. On March 9, 2007, she announced her engagement to François-Henri Pinot, chairman and chief executive officer of the luxury goods company, PPRSA. Quotes I keep waiting to meet a man who has more balls than I do. I act tall. But look how short I am duh, I can't even act to be tall. I'm 5'2". I can't even create the illusion that I am tall. I don't believe in the so-called Latino explosion when it comes to movies. Jennifer Lopez doesn't have an accent. She grew up in New York speaking English, not Spanish. Her success is very important because she represents a different culture, but it doesn't help me. I grew up in Mexico, not the U.S., and the fact is that there just aren't any parts for Latin actresses. I have to persuade people that my accent won't be a problem, but an asset. Everyone's afraid of doing something a bit risky. Everyone wants a $200 million hit and anything they think might get in the way of that kind of success is considered a liability. What worries me the most is that most men are so weak. Because of that they act like they don't care and like machos because they are too fragile inside. They're scared of confrontation and afraid of so many things. And because of this they build up their life so they have to deal with their feelings as little as possible. I find feminine men unbelievably sexy. But most men are completely incapable of getting in touch with their feminine side. What am I supposed to talk about with a man who doesn't know what it's like to be a woman? At the beginning, my career was hard. People were like, who is this Mexican jumping bean? What works in a relationship of very public people is not making the relationship public, keeping it as personal as it can be. It's the only way it is real. I am suspicious of those who have to let the world know how much they love each other. It's a little sad when you have to brag about how much you love someone. That kind of declaration doesn't always reflect the moment of truth between two people who care deeply for each other. When that truth is there, you don't need others to know it. And when somebody truly loves you, you don't even need him or her to be affectionate. Affection is fantastic but it doesn't necessarily mean there's love and the public display of affection is often just a show. When you open a door for others to have an opinion on your relationship, it can be dangerous. Find what you need, not what everyone else wants for you. Women have been taught that in order to have a place in the world, an identity, they must marry and have children. If that's the life you truly want, great. But for many women, marriage is only about needing the world to know that someone desires them enough to say, here's a contract to prove that I love you and will commit to you for the rest of my life. For these women, no contract equals no validation and, thus, no reason for existing. In my twenties I was offered lots of parts where there wasn't much to do but act sexy. I still get offered those roles, but now I take it as a compliment. Woman's World, July 11, 06 About Madonna, she always paid attention to the Latin community. I was grateful somebody like her appreciated our culture, in Style Magazine, September 2006. If I go on a diet and work out, I'm always in a bad mood. I'd rather be a little heavier, but nice. Quoted in Woman's Day, August 15, 06 issue. In my world, you have to be so beautiful, so skinny, so rich, so famous, and I don't believe you really have to be any of those things. You simply have to be who you are. I do have thighs and a butt. I have cellulite. Don't be too impressed with me. Don't try to dress like me or wear your hair like mine. Find your own style. Don't spend your savings trying to be someone else. You're not more important, smarter, or prettier because you wear a designer dress. I get them free and I'm too lazy to go out and look for my own. 
I, a rich girl from Mexico, came here with designer clothes. And one day, when I was starving in an apartment in Los Angeles, I looked at my Chanel blouses and said, if only I could pay the rent with one of these. If a man lets all of my dogs sleep in the bed with us, then that is the most romantic thing. You must love my dogs in order to love me. A man who is nice to my animals and doesn't shoo them away, well, that's the height of romance. It sounds trite to go after men who are nice, but when you've been hurt a lot, it becomes appealing. On being pregnant, you are like a swollen whale and never looked worse in your life. And somebody goes, you're glowing. They don't have the courage to tell you how bad you look. Salary. Eternals, 2021, $75 million.